India's Make in India agenda may look like it's getting a boost once again, this time in the skies. Tata, one of India's most known industrial names, has partnered with Airbus, the global aerospace giant, to manufacture H-125 helicopters right here in Karnataka at Bamagal. Tata will become the first private company to set up a helicopter assembly line in India. The deal was recently announced and it's being described as a bold step toward India becoming more self-reliant in aerospace and defence. The H-125 is a widely used light utility helicopter employed in roles like patrol, transport, rescue and firefighting. And making it here means that India won't always need to import all of these. Under the plan, the Tata Airbus joint venture will set up final assembly and maintenance in Karnataka. Over time, more components will be indigenized, local suppliers, local skills and local engineering. According to reports, by 2027, the first Made in India H125s should roll out of that plant. So why does this matter beyond just India builds its own? Because aviation and defence are high technology, high barrier sectors, to do this locally is a step up in industrial maturity. Also, it's another instance of what critics and supporters alike call the Swadeshi push. At a time when global trade tensions are high, especially from the US with tariffs and H-1B visa fee hikes, supply chains are being rethought. Having sovereign capability in aerospace is more than symbolic, it's strategic. India has already many partnerships with companies like HAL, especially in production of fighter jets for the army. Now that monopoly is breaking, with Tata joining hands with Airbus, India starts making more for India. There are clear advantages to this. First, for cost. Making them domestically could reduce costs over time. Second, for maintenance. When helicopters are built locally, servicing spare parts overhauls, these could happen domestically instead of depending on foreign vendors. Third, for jobs and supply chain. Local industrial ecosystems and engineers will see the ripple effects of this. But naturally, there are also challenges. Building aerospace parts demand extreme precision, quality certification and safety standards. Also, Tata and Airbus must manage trust and transfer of technology. Global companies often worry about IP and how much they're willing to share and how much local firms can absorb. India must also ensure that this plant has steady orders from police, paramilitary, state governments, tourism and from other countries as well. Some might criticise, why partner with a foreign giant? Why not build it fully Indian from day one? Well, the partnership with Airbus gives India access to global design, certification norms, aerospace networks. That's valuable as Indian aviation seeks to scale globally. Because in future battles over supply chains, sanctions and strategic axes, those who build their own wings may well fly highest. And this is one more wing under construction. We will keep tracking the story. Stay tuned to Mint.